Hi there, my name is Matt Phillips and this video is an introduction to PPR, which is a managed PR service for startups. Um, by way of introduction, I founded um, PPR uh, after a 20 year career in public relations, which has seen me work in a number of different roles in a number of different industries. But one of the things that has been consistent throughout is technology. And through my career in tech PR, I've really hit on one, one key thing that, that keeps coming back. And that is that startups are not very well serviced by the PR industry. And the main reason for that is that uh, PR agencies tend to work on a retainer basis. And then there's very well, there's very good business reasons for that. The upshot is that all the risk in buying is then put onto the, the, the client. Uh, and that can be a real problem for startups in particular, because while some agencies might have a terrific track record in doing PR for big brands, many of them are not so good at servicing startups. And actually it may well be two or three months into an engagement with a new PR agency and where things aren't working out and that's a lot of money in sunk costs that you'll never get back. So it can feel like an expensive gamble and often it's the house that wins. The alternative of course is to work with freelancers but that has its uh, setbacks and challenges as well. Primarily that while there's an awful lot of good talented PR freelancers out there Finding the right one for your business and for your brief and for your market with exactly the right blend of skills at exactly the right time isn't easy. And getting those freelancers to collaborate with other freelancers and as part of the team isn't very easy either because everyone has different ways of working. So in other words, it can feel a bit like herding cats. So for that reason, it occurred to me that there must be a better way of doing it and, uh, and trying to create a hybrid model that brings together uh, a kind of an agency-like service, but delivered like free, uh, by freelancers. And this has really been a growth category in marketing services for, us for, for a number of years now, but particularly driven by the pandemic, where a lot of us are working remotely and are leaving to pursue independent careers now that we don't have to be tethered by offices. But that said, I feel that our, our proposition is quite distinctive and unique. And I'd like to tell you three key things about, about our company. The first is that we operate on a, on a pay-as-you-go model. We've broken down P the PR service into distinctive jobs that are all delivered to a fixed price as defined by a transparent rate card. So rather than investing in a sunk cost retainer that may or may not deliver, with us, you pay by results and to a fixed fee, which has obvious benefits to a startup because it means that you don't have to invest up front in a sunk cost. And similarly, uh, the service can be ebb and flow, it can be tailored to your specific needs. So think of it like an Oyster card for PR, top up at the start, get pay as you go and get your balance at the end. And crucially, it's your money until it's spent. So pay as you go PR. The second thing I would like to tell you about is our storytelling method. And many of you will be familiar with uh, Simon Sinek's Golden Circle, which is a way of defining kind of a brand, why it exists, and um, how the brand delivers against its promise, and what specifically the, the company does which is all well and good and very, very important when doing news announcements and getting profile pieces for, for your, fat, your founder. But actually, most PR that startups do, particularly in the early stages, is not built around your own brand because you're not usually at a point as a startup until later, later on, that you have the market power, the established reputation and the visibility to command media attention. Therefore, it's important to go to what journalists are interested in and work back from there. So the method that we've built is very startup specific, but it's built on personal brand. First, we define your personal brand and we start on that as a basis. Then we apply that personal brand to the audience that you're trying to, to reach. We call that the customer story. 
And then once you've defined your personal story and your customer story, you need to make it relevant to journalists in a timely pitch, which is a PR story. And I've got another series of videos where I can unpack exactly how that works. But the key thing I wanted to get across here is that we have a different kind of storytelling model that's specifically designed to service the needs of startups. The third thing I wanted to tell you about was the structure of our organisation, which is built to get the most out of freelance talent. And the first thing to say is that we are growing a network of freelancers who love, love startups, understand how startup PR works uh, and, and, and can work, work together in, in, and collaborate. So the first is that we have a freelance network and it's our freelancers that deliver a lot of the day to day client work for our clients. The second thing to, to bear in mind is that we have uh, deliver a specialist service and it's very, very important that when we're dealing with a startup, the market in which they operate often has a very specific set of issues and a very specific group of journalists that cover those issues. And it's important that our, our, our team of employees are tuned into that. So we have uh, specialist teams that are tuned in and very market specialist, and they work in collaboration with the freelancers to deliver a, an agency like service. And that's kind of how we do it. And holding it together is a, is a, is a central platform. And that central platform hosts all of our back office functions like sales and marketing and finance and so on and so forth. But also we're investing in technology that not that not only supports collaboration across our network, but we plan to develop tools that streamline elements of process as well. So those are the three things I wanted to tell you. Uh, pay as you go servicing model. Um, a storytelling message that's very specifically designed for startups, and thirdly, a, a model and method that, that suits, suits freelancers. So how can you help us? Well, there's three things that we're particularly looking for at this stage in our journey. And the first, of course, it will come as no surprise, is clients. We're looking to connect with startups that we think could benefit from our service. And typically, the perfect client for us is a charismatic driven founder that wants to go and change the world. But, but uh, we're not talking about huge startups like a Spotify or, uh, or transfer wise, we're talking about relatively early stage firms that have gone through that first funding gate, probably are getting a little bit of traction in the market. So they're post seed, they've got a good product market fit, but are not yet at that institutional funded long runway where uh, uh, expensive PR routines are, 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 are not an issue. And we think that there's quite a big market of, of companies in that sector. And that's really what, why we've tailored our service towards that market. And then thirdly, these are individuals that are not yet famous. So someone who could well be famous, but in their own world is not terribly well known. So we, hence the personal branding and the building up of, of an individual's profile. So that's the kind of client that we're looking for. And they could be across any, any, any sector at this point, as I mentioned earlier. Um, secondly, we're also looking to grow our freelancer network. So if you are, or if you know of people, uh, freelance PR people that really understand the startup world, we really want to add you to our network. So please do get in touch. Um, this particularly will suit someone that has um, quite a few independent clients themselves, but is looking to be part of a team and is looking to fill that extra bit of time they might have in the week for top up income. Uh, because the whole the beauty of our model is that you can dip in and dip out because you have the support of the team around you. So if you want to be part of a the team, then this is a, this is probably a good solution for you. And thirdly, um, have active media relationships because our model is designed to help people that have active media relationships to, to really benefit from those through the through, through collaboration. And actually you can use your relationships to sell in um, stories for clients you're not even work, working on. So it works really well on that basis. So yeah, we're looking for more freelancers. And thirdly, we're, we're also looking to grow this year. So we are looking to, to make hires. Um, uh, particularly and very obviously, we're looking for people that are, are quite passionate about startups and building new companies that, that love helping startups to grow. 
but particularly in our in our service verticals and our, our specialist areas we're looking for individuals that have really deep market knowledge that have sector expertise so that when you're sat down with with a founder you can talk on a level about the problems that exist in the market the issues that are relevant and have uh, active connections with the journalists in that sector so we're looking for we're looking for experts um, and thirdly, you have to have a bit of a growth mindset and a willingness to build something. This isn't going to be a really easy company to work on in, in where you're handed uh, really big brands to work on with massive budgets and you know fully fledged ideas this isn't going to be easy but it's an opportunity to build something new so if you can help us in that regard we would love to hear from you um whether that's uh, connecting through with me through linkedin um uh would be great please do get in touch or if you want to find out a little bit more about our business check out our website uh, pprconsulting.co.uk uh, we'd love to hear from you thank you